preparations for a potential ice storm. So the media is reporting that um, there may be a big ice storm coming through here, right in the heart of the target area. And uh, getting Betsy ready. I guess I should finish winterizing Melba. Melba, it may end up becoming our uh, camp out spot. Uh, we'll try the buddy heater. I'm glad I got that. And uh, we'll go stock up some and we'll see. Um, the uh, city manager got on the news today and said that um, power may be out for five days if this becomes really severe. And uh, I don't know how many they expect to be out of power. And, you know, and of course, all these lovely trees here will become a huge disaster so yeah be quite interesting and I'll try and document it as best I can and so that people can kind of who haven't really had an experience with this kind of thing can kind of understand it first thing is we're unloading the Hyundai and moving it into the garage This may actually come in handy. I just heard Topeka talk about there maybe being an inch and a half to two inches of ice, which is actually big time for an ice storm. Now for a job that my lazy butt should have finished some time ago, but never got around to it. Finish winterizing the camper van. I didn't set that time lapse up the way I wanted to, but that's how much I put in. Which of those is about a gallon. And here goes nothing. I still have two gallons left. All right. Turn on the water pump. Oh yes, it's working. Let's turn that off for a second. Let that go down to the tank. All right. So the idea is you let some of it get into the, the tanks. All right, now for the next part. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, we may have a problem here, Houston. Of course, you know, the main purpose for doing this is to, is to uh, have a toilet. So, I don't know, we'll see. Can I turn that on? Yep, it's on. So that's not good news. It's possibly that the line is frozen to the toilet or, I don't know, some other problem. It may go away with a change in temperature. And that may be provided when we, if we use this to uh, as a temporary shelter and heat it up and everything, then it might, might heat up the line. That's my fault for not doing this sooner. Mm. The doggies are ready. Aren't you dogs? Aren't you Stella? You ready? You ready? Ready for the ice storm? Ice storm of the century? Let's hope not. My next stop is a hardware store of some sort, home improvement store, to see if I'm not too late to get some uh, supply like rock salt or uh, ice melt. 
uh, for the driveway and stuff. That might come in handy. All my errands went antiquing and we finally got our hall tree. A really nice one and at a good price. Found this jacket and a lighter one at the truck stop on the way home. So got that and got us some dinner and this is in getting ready. Boy, it's blinding in it, blinding. Getting ready for uh, the weather because you know I'll be working out in it. And I think these things will work better than the stupid little vests, safety vests that don't really work. All right. I'm heading home. <laughs>